Our theme for today is what God wants, and our scripture is a very strong one from the prophet Amos, Amos chapter 5, verses 21 through 24, when God, speaking through the prophet, condemns the worship of the people. It says, I hate, I despise your festivals, and I take no delight in your solemn assemblies, even though you offer me your burnt offerings and grain offerings, I will not accept them. And the offerings of well-being of your fatted animals, I will not look upon. Take away from me the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the melody of your harps. But let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. And this is what Walter Rauschenbusch has to say about that scripture. The fundamental conviction of the prophets was the conviction that God demands righteousness and demands nothing but righteousness. The prophets insisted on a right life as the true worship of God. Morality to them was not merely a prerequisite of effective ceremonial worship. They brushed sacrificial ritual aside altogether as trifling compared with righteousness, nay, as a harmful substitute and a hindrance for ethical religion. What God wanted was a right life and the righting of social wrongs. They said less about the pure heart for the individual than of just institutions for the nation. The twin evil against which the prophets launched the condemnation of Jehovah was injustice and oppression. The morality which they had in mind was not the private morality of detached pious souls, but the social morality of the nation. And here is Walter's prayer. We praise thee, Almighty God, for thine elect, the prophets and martyrs of humanity, who gave their thoughts and prayers and agonies for the truth of God and the freedom of people. We praise thee that amid loneliness and the contempt of others, in poverty and imprisonment, when they were condemned by the laws of the mighty and buffeted on the scaffold, thou didst uphold them by thy spirit in loyalty to thy holy cause. Again, in this week of reflections on peace, we see that they're almost invariably about justice. And there are social ills in our nation and in the world that we as Christians need to work to try to right or to correct or to end. That's part of our calling and that's part of why there is a whole section of the Hebrew Bible called the Prophets. And I think it's important to remember that preserved within our Bible are the words of those who spoke not just in terms of personal morality, but in terms of social morality and working for the justice of institutions and of the nation. We're called to carry on that tradition.